I was the captain of the team that won the first ever enlisted tournament, and I have so many videos already on my channel that help you improve at this game. On our big enlisted Discord server, I, alongside more of my world championship winning teammates, play on Discord in voice chat with you guys to help you improve, and we also play four stack battles against each other for better competition. Para Division, one of my fellow tournament winners and YouTuber, which you should go and check him out, link in the description below, played an exciting game against myself and others in this Discord, and this video is that game. Game on a uh, Mana Conquest and we're against Power Division, so and a bunch of other people were involved as well. So this will be an interesting test. Jumping into a Jeep, because who doesn't? Do you jump into a Jeep at the start of this game? <laughs> well, yeah. When I, uh, usually I start with an engineer with a sword, so I just rush in straight and I let my teammates take the Jeep. <laughs> yeah, that actually is quicker because that Jeep is so slow. Look at it. It's super slow. Yeah, I think it's more because of the underground, because the jeep on the left side on the road would be very fast, but yeah. Yeah, that's probably true, but hey, you, you gotta, gotta go off-road sometimes. You're building a rally here because it's a common place to build a rally, not the best place ever, but it'll do for the time being to defend our closest point, and rallies are super, super important on this map, because otherwise you don't you don't want to spawn outside, like super far away from the building, so there's that, and yeah. artillery, and my friend's building one here, so I help him, as a good <laughs> engineer would do. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Heading to B. You, your team were already taking B at this point, so would you want it or? Well, like there, I I think we had some players who were very aggressive, who just completely rushed instantly without building rally points, and yeah, that might be the reason. Killing a bunch like of people in here. In general, in conquest, you want to split up. Like some people build rally points in the beginning, and other people just rush into the straight uh, to the center objective. So you have a good presence around the whole map. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, our team managed to clear out B because there were a bunch of AI standing on it and um, not much like, not many human players it looks like. So we just cl quickly yeah. cleared out B. That's the thing, the attack was very weak. Like it, sh it should always be two players, not one player. One player is just too like cluster. I mean, I I'd assume most of your team actually decided to run away. Like they decided to probably maybe to head to our point C. But hey. Really. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> I don't really know what their plan was, but it, it wasn't too too well thought out. Oh, I missed all my shots there. Sad. But yeah, it yeah, looks like we had B. We were losing A, actually. One of you was backstabbing us on A quite quickly, and I noticed this, but I figured it was better to go for C. Never mind, though. You have quite a good defense, it looks like. We have lots of good rallies. Did you notice we had a rally there at the, at the far corner near C? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's, what That's usually what wins you the game, if you have such a nice rally there flanking. Yeah, the, also those possible are to take down for the enemies. Exactly. Yeah, flanking rallies are so important. Oh my god, I got destroyed by a Car 98k deck guy there. <laughs> this map is quite large, so I don't think people are gonna run around searching for random rally points. So <laughs> building such a rally point should be safe for the whole game. It's relatively safe anyway, because it's, it's it's far outside. So if you have flanking rallies like that, it tends to mean you win games. Mm-hmm. I was running back to A, I think, because I think I saw enemies on A. Yeah, I did. Uh, watching out for mines as well, because yeah. <laughs> knowing you, you might put you mines down on it. <laughs> there is a guy coming. thing is, the German mines are harder to spot than the Soviet ones. Oh, yeah. The German mines are better than Soviets, because they, they don't really come out of the ground. Yeah, they're like grey and quite flat, and the Soviet ones are yellow and quite tall, so... <laughs> That, that was yeah. you who shot me with a with, with a grenade launch. You just died there. That was you. A worthwhile exchange. <laughs> and I did see. I figured I was trying to figure out where you came from, so I wanted to come out here, trying to figure out where exactly. I saw some of you enter the or going around to enter point A, and there you are. I see you right now. So I timed it correctly. I knew exactly where you'd be. Um, Killed some of you. We, we Someone built like so many sandbags and barbed wire here as well. I'm not entirely sure I did. Oh, and that one was as well. I, remember, I built a rally point there, so I had to kill them quickly. Because they were going for my rally that I built over there. Um, just kind of lucky. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what hit you? I have no idea. A grenade. A grenade launcher. I don't want to ask. <laughs> but luckily you only downed me rather than killed me. Uh, it didn't seem like you noticed that you only downed me. Well, I mean, I just always spam them until I'm out of grenades. Like I noticed, <laughs> it, it, it takes so much time to... to f like the problem is, you obviously have the sand back and the barbed wire behind it, so it's impossible to get in. You just need to spam grenades until the whole structure is destroyed. 
and a bunch of grenade launchers until the major is gone. <laughs> so yeah, then you can start capping. Yeah, I was trying to look for your rally point here though, because I figured you'd have something. I wasn't sure where it was, so I went just adventuring outside to try and find it. And then I saw a bunch of sandbags here. Um, Very suspicious. But there was no rally point there, so it looks like someone already took it out. And then at this point I was like, well, what do I do now with my time? That was, that was the best use of my time. So I figured mm -hmm. maybe I could just run to C from this point. Because um, I was too far away from B. I figured C would be a good backdoor. Doesn't really matter in the end. Because you, you saw out in the open that you just get sniped by some guy. So it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't really the best of strategies, put it that way. But we still do have our rally up there on the round side, which Jackie and Rogue Soldier keep using. Which is really helpful. Because all it meant that I just keep could keep going on B and, B and um, A to defend it. While they kept harassing your point C. And it just meant like we could probably always hold two points. And that would kind of give us the win. But currently we were losing, I think. You are you're just about yeah. winning. Your team only has three rally points. If it had one more rally point close to B, it would be it would give you the advantage over the whole match, I think. Yeah, it would. Three rallies aren't really enough. Shooting with a machine gunner. Yeah, try, I knew there was a we knew there was a bunch of rallies outside there. We didn't know where exactly, but we could see you all spawning or outside in the, the left hand side trench on out from our point of view. Um, we didn't know where exactly, but I think I marked it a few times. Oh, some guy hiding in the corner. How sad. But well, that's what you do in these maps. You're trying to hold a position, you can hide in the corner. As much as it's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate to do it myself, but I noticed, especially if you're losing, you really need to start just hiding in a corner and wait for 20 seconds, and then you get like 10, 20 kills. Yeah, that's... that's if you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> it's an incredibly important thing to do. When, when, you, when you're losing, it's just of utmost importance. Yeah, running back to B, because B was the one that was being taken, so that was the one that I decided to rotate at. Saw a tank in the back. Marked it. Although, I think you harass us with tanks this entire game, because no one wanted to go and deal with them. <laughs> if mm -hmm. I remember correctly. Yeah, tanks are high variance on this map. Like, if they work out, they're amazing, especially in B. But if no one's fighting for B, you can shell high explosives the whole time and don't do anything, so... I personally rather don't use tanks on this map, only if an enemy tank is too too dominant. Then yes, but otherwise not. Yeah, I'm I'm the same. I, I wouldn't use a tank on this map just because all the points are inside. Oh my god, he tricked me with a Madsen. He tricked me. But yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I wouldn't use. Um, I'm being destroyed now. I'm being I'm being absolutely destroyed by this guy. Oh, Travis. It was Travis. <laughs> of course. Oh, MP40 enthusiast. Yeah, of course. Very good. <laughs> no MKB needed for him, just MP40. Exactly. Oh, and a grenade launcher. Your grenade launcher finished me off. <laughs> yeah, some people claimed they were nerfed silently. Because the damage, or like indirectly maybe, because the, the explosion damage generally was possibly reduced. Yeah. Could be the case. Like, I don't get as many kills as I used to. Yeah, possibly. I also but don't use it that often, so yeah. PPSH though is perfect for these little corridors. You can just you can just yeah, rain hellfire down in the corridors. Absolutely best weapon. One of the best, if not the best for me. But yeah, fantastic. But we also I'm not sure if you saw that. Yeah, that I'm going to clear them out. I think I clear out so many here, I do <laughs> PPSH just clears out the entire room. Yes. MKBs wouldn't have done that. Like, yeah. You would have run out of bullets to two soldiers. Earlier. Yeah. Very true. That, like, we took the whole... And that was you as well, trying to run in and throw a grenade in. <laughs> yeah, this dude didn't, didn't expect you. Yeah. This soldier didn't expect you. Oh my god. Getting this majorly destroyed. <laughs> Feel the power of the Major. That was you again. Although you got me that time. And uh, yeah, this rally though. If you're playing this map, do not build a rally in the attic. Same goes with basically every map. Do not build exactly. one in the attic, because your AI are too dumb to get down from mm. there. Which means every time you die, you'll have to run so far just to, like, mm. get to the same place. Like, I, like I'm doing right now. I got downed and have to run all the way back. Whereas if your AI were close, fairly close to you, you could probably change through them and maybe avenge the guy who killed you, but... Kind of sad in this instance. And <laughs> this is a common theme throughout the game, actually. <laughs> like, too yeah. many of our AI got stuck in, a, stuck in the attic. Also, it demoralizes your team because people get angry and they say, oh, they think, oh, yeah, my team sucks and so on, which usually should be avoided. 
Yeah, like this ready point is horrible. Yeah, like every time I die, I have to keep respawning. At least it saves my entire squad. Like they won't die pointlessly unless someone comes to the attic. But you know, it doesn't for in a game like this where they just can't get down. You have to do it all yourself. It's kind of difficult. Well, this was you I as had well. The same <laughs> in my recent video on Kamenka River. I had the same issue where someone built a rally in the attic. I, I just wrote him that he has to destroy it. Otherwise, we we gonna have a bad time. I yeah. think he did it actually. I think he did. It. That's quite smart. Like the fact that he listens to that. Because most, <laughs> I guess most players wouldn't do it. Oh, that was you. I think before I knew that bots get stuck, I also did it when I started oh, yeah. playing the game. I thought, oh, it's the perfect hiding spot. But yeah, <laughs> once you spawn there, you instantly know it's not. Yeah, and you see that my, my rally was destroyed, which is outside. So now basically the only rally we've got left is the one in the attic, <laughs> which we spawn out the entire time. And no one, we should have told our team to destroy it, but um, no, Sometimes we didn't. Ahead. <laughs> I mean, he just needs to build a new one, and he automatically replaces it. Yeah. Oh, MKB, sniper MKB time. I stole, that was your MKB that I stole. <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah. though, because you, you destroyed me with it anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like to steal, if there's a good weapon that someone's using, I will steal it. Especially if I'm running out of ammo, like in my, because rifles don't necessarily have that much ammo. Like this was, yeah. this video I think was recorded just before the AVS buffs, where it had, which got like a exactly. bit more ammo. So like at this point, the AVS like basically had like three mags, and then you finish it already. So you play it on full auto, I noticed. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't play it on full auto actually. I always I play it on semi auto because I just click quickly. If oh you, my god! That's what I do. Like uh, you'll oh, uh, you'll see when I change back to it. But for AVS in particular, I only use um, semi auto uh, okay. as a function. I and for FG as well, FG forty two. I never use it on full auto actually. The only thing that would be helpful is if I if the bots used full auto, because bots are so good with full, full automatic weapons. But sadly, you can't... Well, you can go around changing all the weapons, but it just wastes mm -hmm. too much time, which I can't be bothered to do, even though it's probably worth it to do. I mean, isn't it good enough for the bots anyway if they deal, like, the high FG-42 damage with one bullet? Every yeah, time? yeah, it is, but, like, if they miss, for example, then they, they're dead because someone else, some, some human player, will kill them. If, if, if they're mm -hmm. full automatic, they could keep shooting. Because normally they kind oh, of right, take a break. Right. They're, they're not that, that that smart, the AI, sadly. <laughs> You're always finding new ways to get into B. Like, uh, there are some many situations yeah. here which I found, you know, I couldn't get in through the main way because you were covering the corridor, so I had to walk the outside route. And it worked, like, just like this. I was able to collapse on Travis right here. Mm hmm. And we're able to. You also see, once you, once you captured B, we didn't come back. Like, until ye until now, we didn't come back. You're still holding it. Yeah. Which is painful. <laughs> we luckily had, like, <laughs> that rally in the attic was somewhat close by anyway. Needs to get down. Yeah. Also, cover covering, like, doors like this. Like, this is a machine gunner's dream right here. This situation. Yeah, exactly. You can just mow them all down. This machine gun is a pure beast. I love it too, playing Moscow Soviets. Oh, yeah, it is fun. It might not be the best machine gun in the world, but I, I really enjoy using the DP. Someone, you threw a grenade in here. Someone threw a Molotov in here, which I found. Like, I'm gonna die here. I, I, yeah, I die. <laughs> that was Travis. You threw the Molotov. Uh, it, this is the ABS. Yeah, this is the, yeah, this, this is the ABS with the semi-auto. You'll um, you'll see if I I, I go back to A here because I realise we're losing it. I figured we have to take mm -hmm. it because we're holding my team are on B. Like, there's a lot of my team on the minimap on B, and I turn yeah. around as soon as I realise that we're capping A again, um, because we've got enough people on it. So like quick judgments about where you should head to. That's the best use of your time. Always like exactly. try and try to think. Oh, I snipe you as well. <laughs> I always try to decide, yeah. make um, like what's the best use of your time. That's really important thing. Like opportunity cost. Which point should you be at? Which point should you should not be at? Exactly. And this is why conquest is the most skill intensive thing. You literally every single second counts. Oh yeah. Literally every single second counts. Exactly. Every, every yeah. second of everybody's life counts at this point because you need to be at the right places and, and killing enemies on the points. Like you were taking B here for a, for a while and this fire was really annoying because I didn't know how to get in. Like I can't see anything. Yeah. I can't get in there. It was a good strategy for you, for your team to do anyway. There are a couple of grenades. Well, I knew yeah, I was going to die here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is... We are winning at this point. Like I know this is like kind of your last push. If we could take back B, unless I step on a mine, obviously. <laughs> but uh, 
Yeah, Travis is dishing out the pain to you. <laughs> yeah. You can't see them as well. Like, I couldn't see that one on the ground, so... And how it goes. But, um, trying to snipe this guy. Like, I'm, this is still semi-auto. I'm just, like, one click is for one shot. And you'll see, mm -hmm. like, when I fire really quickly, I'll just, um, click really quickly. Because it's easier to judge the recoil. Because the AVS has got quite high recoil. If you use it semi-auto, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel as bad. Like this. This is just yeah. me clicking really quickly. Obviously, it's not absolutely perfect all the time, but it, it gives me more control, I feel, over the weapon. Uh, we did have guys on C as well. So we're taking that right now. Which is kind of convenient, because I knew that if I just kept applying pressure onto B, then Rogue Soldier would kind of distract you on C long enough that we could take one of the points. Because I knew you weren't on A. And uh, I decided to spawn at this outside rally, because the other one was the <laughs> the inside one in the attic. <laughs> Yeah, this situation is very hard for the enemies to win. Like, they need to keep up the this balance, and they need to avoid dying too often, because then they're also going to lose. Yeah. I think I'd just cover this corner, actually. I think I remember this, because you were coming, and I saw... <laughs> that was you dropping a mine right in that door as I killed you. <laughs> I knew there was a mine there. But I still... <laughs> I thought I could jump <laughs> over it. It turns out I couldn't. I knew, I knew, I saw you drop in mine there before you died, before I killed you, but I didn't know if I could actually jump over it or not. Guess you can't. That's a, that's a note to yourself. You can't jump over mines. Oh, Comrade Major sacrifice himself for the common good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I head to A this time. Yeah. I, I figure A is better to go to here than, than B, even though we're losing them both. You're actually doing a, a nice comeback, actually. But A was more important to, to make sure we had here. Because I think at this yeah. point, if we just held A, we could still win, even if you had B and C, because we had more than double the amount of tickets that you had left. So it's opportunity cost as well, like prioritize one point at this mm. point to the damage limitation, I suppose. I mean, if, if the enemy has two points, you are forced to kill enemies, because otherwise, if nothing happens, if both teams stay back, you will lose, because their line isn't burning down. Yeah. So exactly. you're in a position to fight, but... You obviously kill more than the enemy's kill with your team, so it's still beneficial for you. Oh yeah, and this is PPSH's dream as well, like everyone queuing up <laughs> just as you did there. <laughs> I would say everything that's not uh, like one kilometer away is a PPSH's dream. You, you can just pray and, and hit. <laughs> By the way, you can, you can avoid mine explosions if you just run with a, either with an axe or with a sword over them. Because then it will explode behind your back and you will survive. Yeah, that's true. It, it depends. You, it happens if you it helps if you've got vitality perk as well. Then you're likely to survive mines as well. In case you mess that up. <laughs> yeah, I guess you need vitality plus very fast running. Yeah. There's another reason why those two perks are some of the best in the game, in my opinion. Which is the second? Uh, well, vitality the first, maybe sprint speed second, or vertical recoil oh, yeah. third. Maybe one of those probably. And if you can't get those, and there are good uh, backups to get, but they're the three I would always prioritize on most troops, most troop classes. There are, there are some troop classes I might go for something different, like building speed for engineers or something like that, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you got us. Yeah. A perfect lead, with a perfect lead of objectives <laughs> and killing. Now let's check the points. Yeah, the points at the end. It was actually a relatively close game in, in the end. It, it, we did quite well in the mid-game to get a lot of points back, but... Towards the end, you were clawing it back. There just wasn't enough time for you to claw it back. Um, exactly. But yeah, here's the, here's the, here's the end score. Um, we got 120 kills. You won 62. Um, you, got 30, you had what's it, 51 engineer score, though, so I can see where your priorities lie. <laughs> yeah, I try to defend B because usually fortifying, having a good defense and preserving lives, especially if you're already behind, is, is what can give you a win. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, uh, there's a lot of different things here. Like, we had, obviously had three of us. It was a 3v3, I think, in the end. Um, so, yeah, like, lots of people did quite well in terms of kills, especially on my team. I can see where we won because of the kills. Um, your team had higher engineer score, though, overall. So, um, yeah, it's important to you, that you had the rallies that you had because it kept you in the game for quite a long time. Yeah. Yeah, you, your team was much better at killing. If you compare the kill counts <laughs> and the death counts and the points, yeah, they're... We died a lot. We died a lot. I think oh, when I see the numbers, I I don't think even it was about about holding the objectives because I think it was around 50-50 overall in the game. But the kill count in the end decided it because yeah, 
your team killed like 150, 200 soldiers more. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. It's very impressive. Yeah, no, obviously it helps. Like, I only had three engineer score in that entire game, I think. So, um, yeah, let, let's go back to the score. Like, I only had three three engineer score in the, in the entire game. I think I built one rally point, and that rally point was destroyed quite quickly and early on. But luckily, my team had built enough rallies around the map that it was okay. Um, it kind of could have been a bit detrimental if we only had the one in the attic for a long period of time. Yeah. That could have kind of screwed us. But luckily, we had someone, some building out, out, outside of the house which was important so obviously that helped us and contributed to the win so yeah delighted delighted for that but it was still an exciting game like uh both both sides had good players so just came down to who could execute the just holding points more and who could uh, hold the corridors down and the choke points yeah that was amazing like the your corridor work was great you just completely demolished everyone you know that the yeah. agents helped a lot. They were amazing. <laughs> you know that most like most bots and most uh, players will, will run through the corridors anyway. So if you're hiding around the corners or just waiting for them to appear, then you've got a good chance at destroying them. Especially if you're leaning around the corridor, so you're not too exposed. Um, so like after you kill one person in the chain, then he doesn't know exactly where you are. So <laughs> you can't just come back, know exactly where you are, and kill you before you can kill the second guy. So. Yeah, it's... The Major is officially the ghost of the Mana. <laughs> I like that sentiment, yeah. Power Division will also have a video that he won versus me on his channel, so go and check him out, and I'll put his link in the description below. If you're looking for more help in Enlisted, you can go to my Patreon and buy a tier with personal coaching sessions, or you can DM me on Discord. Alternatively, you could check out my Twitch and watch me play games live against you guys or with you guys. But use this video, armed with this knowledge, to go and watch the playlist in this corner, where you can watch me play more games live with post commentary. You might have clicked on it earlier, but in case you didn't, it's right there. And you might as well click it, because we're done here. <laughs>